Good afternoon, our dear viewers on YouTube. Today we will show you a homemade hydroelectric power plant on a small river. In order to create a water level difference, a mini dam was built. However, the river was not completely blocked. The main flow of water goes to the side and fish and other living creatures can easily move through it. A pipe was installed under the dam, at the outlet of which a homemade turbine was fixed. The flow of water passing through the pipe spins this turbine, transferring torque to the generator. At first we used these water wheels, but as practice has shown, their efficiency is lower, and the generator power was about two times less than in the same stream with a turbine. And in winter, this wheel was very cold and did not work at all. Now we will turn off the water in the pipe to show you how the turbine works. It turns out that the water went around. The pipe is supported by two wooden bearings and a thrust washer that holds the side shift wheel. At the outlet of the pipe, in order to direct the flow of water to the blades, a kind of casing was made from a rubber conveyor belt that was used in the mine. By selection, it was found that this shape of the blades is optimal. When the blades bent at a large angle, the power from this only decreased. And also, so that the blades do not tear off and crack from any vibrations, we screwed them on, laying rubber from the same miner's conveyor belt. The torque itself is transmitted to the generator itself through a shaft assembled from pipes. Grenades from a VAZ car were installed on the bends, and in other places such simple connections were made. All this rests on these wooden bearings, which, with regular lubrication, have been working for more than one year. A generator is installed under a canopy nearby. A small pulley from a combine is installed on the shaft and a smaller pulley on the generator. This allows you to increase the speed, which is necessary for the efficient operation of the generator. If desired, the belt can be thrown onto a circular saw. The power of the water turbine for its operation is quite enough. This hydroelectric power plant has been operating for more than one year and during this time many generators have been tested on it. Here is one for 6 kilowatts. Or this one. But the best results showed up with this homemade generator. It is based on a three-phase motor. The windings were rewound with thick wire to a lower voltage. And the iron rotor is cut down on a lathe. And neodymium magnets are fixed there on the aquarium silicone. Such a generator on this turbine produces 600 watts of electricity around the clock, every hour, without interruption. Agree, it's not bad enough to get so much energy for free. Even if you consider that there is no way to connect to the mains. Several buildings on the apiary are powered from this mini hydro power plant. The hives are illuminated by a bright LED lantern, scaring away bears and other wild animals. The refrigerator, TV and other appliances work all year round. I will talk about the features of using a hydroelectric power plant. I will also show why I had to connect the inverter, these batteries, and a charge controller to it. I will show how the hydroelectric power station works in winter, under 2 meter snowdrifts, and in spring, when the flood comes. We will talk about upgrading and increasing power to several kilowatts in order to use heating for free in winter. Subscribe and don't miss it. Watch even more about alternative energy on our channel Creason.